All right, it is a leg day, and I just stopped at the Walgreens by the gym and grabbed some Gatorades so I can get a little bit of carbohydrates in during the lift, a little bit of electrolytes too, and it also serves another purpose. If you're bulking and you kind of struggle to get the food in throughout the day, adding in a little sugary drink like this is a very easy way to add calories to your daily total without really filling your stomach up and I'm definitely someone who struggles to eat so this definitely I've found has helped me out a lot in that regard uh, for the actual lift today I have safety bar squats as the main movement and my program is calling for 235 pounds but with this bar it's 60 pounds so it's a little bit heavier than a regular barbell so 240 pounds is two plates which is only five pounds more than what my program is telling me so i think i'll just bump it up to that um and then got a few other things after that but i will kind of discuss all that after i've completed the lift so i'm gonna get in there and get started <laughs>
Right. that leg day is complete and it was a very solid one i feel like i have to sneeze it's not coming out <laughs> it's the worst um yeah it was it was a brutal one it was tough uh felt really good though that's what makes it fun when it's a tough one and, and uh when it poses a challenge which is why i think uh a lot of people joke about skipping leg day or don't joke they might actually skip leg day um just the classic gym bro thing um but don't be skipping legs uh, preferably doing them twice a week is what i think is best um i think if you're just doing it once uh you're leaving some progress on the table there um you can split up uh into hamstring and, and quad focus days on on each one you can do an even split i don't think it matters too much i do a pretty even split um and i think you really only need three to four quad exercises a week split those into the two leg days and then two to three hamstring i would say um and maybe a exercise calf exercise on on each leg day and, and you're golden i think um that's at least what works for me i've i found a pretty low volume approach to be to be best just making sure that you're focusing on technique and and uh effort um those need to take precedence i think and if you're able to, to hone in your focus on a few very tough, very technically proficient sets, then I believe that that's where you're gonna make the most progress. If you go into a lift thinking, oh, I have this massive leg day to hit, and you're doing, I don't know, six, seven, eight exercises, three to four sets on each, in your brain, you're just gonna, you're just gonna be overwhelmed, I think, with with just the amount of volume and, and the amount of work you know you have to do and you're gonna be thinking about that. But if you know you're going in and you only have a few things that you have to focus all your attention on, um, I think it's much easier to to really get the most out of those, those few sets you do have because you kind of have to maximize them if you're not doing too many. Um, and that's another reason splitting it into two leg days I think is a is a good option because if you're doing all your leg volume in one day that's going to be a massive workout and a massive mental load going into the lift and you're probably going to be dreading that uh, maybe even before uh, a couple days before the lift it could start the day before which you really don't want um so that's just kind of a, a side note about how to set up leg days and just kind of an accountability check making sure you're not skipping those um, but for safety bar today, the rep goal on that AMRAP, that last set was 11. I think it was 11. I'll have to recheck my program, but I did get 11. Um, so didn't get above the rep goal, but I did hit the threshold. So I was pretty happy there because my technique was good. It was a really tough set, a lot of stimulation for the quads on that one, <laughs> glutes too. Um, but I... I stay definitely a lot more upright on safety bar than I do on a typical barbell squat because I barbell squat low bar and this one kind of forces me to stay much more upright than I would on, on a low bar barbell squat. Um, so I definitely get more quad out of this one and a lot of knee flexion, um, 
which is what you want when you're trying to slam the quads. Um, and after that, I did some dumbbell Romanians uh, using the 120s for my working sets. Just did two sets there. That's really all I feel like I need. And went pretty hard on those. I got two sets of nine. So the first one, I left probably about a rep in the tank. Second one was, that was it. I had nothing left, really. Um, it really, I felt it in my lats, to be honest, too. They were getting tired, especially on that first one. I feel like I just kind of had to get primed for the movement because my lats were getting fatigued on that first set. Um, but second set, that was a tough one. Felt really tough. Felt good, though. And... Um, my gym, that's the heaviest dumbbells they have. So I'm just trying to maximize um, maximize what I can with the weight I have. So I'm trying to make them pretty slow controlled reps and, and pause at the bottom. I was pausing most of those or trying to do a pause on each rep just to make it a little tougher, just to maximize uh, the reps with the limited weight that I have. Um, so in the coming weeks, just gonna try to Focus on making that technique better and better, nice and controlled slow and, and making those pauses to make it harder. And then I did split squats. I did just one set on each leg. Didn't need a lot more quad after um, the safety bar squats. They were already pretty toasted. So I just did one set on each just to get a little touch up and a little accessory movement in there for them. It also hit the glutes, but for me, I feel a lot of quad in, in Bulgarians. Um, and worked with the 90s, got seven on each leg and kept it um, a little bit reined in there because uh, last week I was feeling my knee a little bit after those and felt a little, mm, little uneasy about it. Um, so decided to take it a little more chill today. And um, I felt a little bit of, I don't know, weirdness, weird feeling in my knee, but overall it's feeling pretty good now. So not mad there, pretty happy happy with those and did a couple sets of calves and called it a day didn't film those again i promise i am hitting calves uh just did two sets there so like i said pretty low volume still took me like a couple hours just because i take my sweet time my sweet rest time i'll talk to people too it's like a community here so um yeah that's really it i'm gonna call it a day for this video and i will see you guys in the next one